If life is a journey, Steve Hartman's family has passed a milestone on the road. This is the story people ask me about more than any other. A story we first told last year about the house I grew up in and the man who made it. You recognize any of these? My father, George Hartman, built this house himself back in 1955. I sure do. How long were you planning on living here? The rest of my life. But uh, when we built this house, we didn't consider stairs as a factor when you got old. And so there we were. At that moment, elderly parents and their grown children seemed to dread equally the selling of the family home. I prefer to stay, but you also have to realize that all good things come to an end. After my mom died, it became increasingly difficult for him to manage on his own. So my brother Joe and I went to Toledo, Ohio to pack up his things. You see what that is? What is that? My mother's hair when she died. She never got gray hair, as you can see. I would have taken your word for it. <laughs> we spent a couple days trying to help dad with his downsizing. Oh, yeah, I don't want to throw anything away like that. Okay. Which at times felt more like same sizing. Shoehorn? Yeah, I was looking for that. But when pressed, the only things that truly mattered centered on either his faith. Rosary? Yeah. Or his family. I love you, dad. Happy Valentine's Day. You want to throw that away? No. <laughs> A house that raised a family is so much more than wood and shingles. It's home to almost every memory of our younger lives. It's in the background of everything we were and helped make us who we are. It's where we learn to feel safe, sound, and sometimes even invincible. Yes, technically a house is just a place, but at times like this, it sure feels more like a person. My dad moved from here to a senior living facility near my other brother, Mike, in Atlanta, where I recently visited. I get a lot of emails, people asking me how you're doing. Me too. Yeah. What do you call a lot of emails? Hundreds. Huh? Yeah. How come I don't ever, you don't ever send me I'll, that kind of I'll. stuff? <laughs> As you can tell, he's still the same old dad. He got to keep his dog, which mattered most to him, and not a single stare in the place which mattered most to us. And as for his fans, he told me he appreciates all of you who asked about him. Tell him I'm still alive. Okay. <laughs> what are they gonna say when I drop over dead? I don't know what they'll say, but I'm sure he'll wanna read their emails. Steve Hartman on the road in Atlanta. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, good night.